I did end up um, breaking a little bit of that off, but nothing we can't fix with just a little bit of um, maybe duct tape on the outside or tuck tape. May give it a really good adherence in there too. Um, so you can see the damage on the floor is quite a bit of damage here by the um, water heater. The, um, the brace that was sitting here underneath the water heater holding it up, I pulled out by hand. I started trying to do the screwdriver and it was just spinning so I just twisted the whole board all the way around this way and then pulled it out and you can see right there the hole has that same discoloration but it looks like the water damage might only go that far um, you can see it's lifting up here too sorry right there is uh, spongy as well so um, I'll get this part cleaned up and ready to start pulling out wood. I might even have to pull this part back. It sounds pretty solid, but you can see the discoloration is to here. So I think just to have that little bit of extra security, I might bring it all the way back here. But we'll see once I pull all of every, everything off of there. All right, so I just got some stuff. Uh, little bit out of the way here. The little cloth ribbon with Velcro that I found next to the freezer, freezer, furnace. I'm actually holding up the water pipes off the floor because they're not actually screwed into the floor. They're just loose, uh, which works out perfect for me. Hopefully I don't have to go any further back than this, but I believe I definitely have to go in around here. Um, I tidied up a little bit here. So I'm just going to Try out these things. Um, any amount of wiggle that I've been putting in these just shows that, like, there's no caulk in those. There's caulk on top. Whoever your caulk guy is, Janko, he really needs to do a better job because this just looks like it's. I don't think this is where the problem is, but these definitely go through to the ground. That needs to be better. I would, I would um, fill it with a plug rather than like a cork even, something along those lines, rather than the caulk because the caulk is obviously leaving room for user error where if you were putting a plug that was made specifically for these units, you would have a really great tight fit. So hopefully you're doing that on your newer models already and I just didn't come up with that epiphany right now. Um, I'm just gonna pry these up. They're just stuck in there with a little staple. All that big rant being said, I can't see light through here. Um, I can't remember which one I saw from under there that I was concerned about. Ah, uh, this one over here. Can you even see that? Yeah. But the one that I had my biggest concern about was over there because I could actually see light through it. This is taking too long. I need a better tool. I need a pokier um, bit to get in there. First significant injury. I actually was just taking um, these guys off just to be able to get the, by these guys, there was little staples in there, to get the flooring out from underneath it and to be able to cut the flooring away because obviously that goes back quite far. And I just scraped my finger along the edge of it, but I have noticed that with the little scratches that didn't actually break the skin a lot. I did get some inflammation overnight, so I'm actually going to use um, kind of a hefty polysporin on that, seeing as it actually did get right in there. I don't need my arm 
ballooning up with redness. I'll clean this up better later, but obviously I'm not gonna stop working for a tiny little skin flap. So just get that covered up for now and then I'll do a better clean up on it later. If I clean it up now, then the band-aid won't adhere and it'll be more annoyance than anything. So I'll just leave it on the dirty dry finger. So you can see the um, rot. The worst of the rot is here. With the knife, just flakes off underneath. Over here, which is under, there's obvious damage in there, but it's under where the water heater is here, is not as damaged. It just looks, it's darker. And I think too that that is because it gets darker where the screw holes are. Not necessarily that those screws have gone all the way through to the bottom. So the most damage is over here where we had noticed the original kind of squishy spot. And it does go out to the wall. But if you look at this here, you can really see I need to brace this and probably quick if I keep pulling away at the wood there because this is the whole spring or the system to hold up the roof and this is all under tension so I'm gonna have to bring in some I think wood just to hold up like brace against the ceiling I'll probably end up bracing the other three corners that still have um, something stable underneath them because this corner is not stable so I've got to take some measurements and go cut some two by fours to size to get the bracing in here. Maybe put some uh, dish towels or something on top um, just to save my ceiling. The, you can see the damage definitely like where it's holding on to the piece of little linoleum here. Um, there is definitely some damage there. Like it just it's like the only place the linoleum is still adhering. But where the um, pink antifreeze, like the water system antifreeze, um, was coming out here, actually leached right under the whole linoleum. Like the whole linoleum is like lifting anyway. So we're gonna have to recock all of these. I was thinking I would be able to leave all of this in here, but I can't. Um, I can. I believe I can leave the wood once the pink stuff is kind of evaporated and dried off for a day or two. But um, I need to pull all the caulking and recaulk all of those holes because um, it's wet. It's it's wet in there, and putting a tile on top, it's not going to stick. It's just going to hold the moisture in there, and then we'll have the same problem starting over here. Um, may not be as large a scale as as this, but it could be the cause of a. I don't want to take this cupboard out again. <laughs> It'll be the cause of that. That cupboard was way too hard to take out. All right, got some two by fours cut for bracing. Got one on that very end, one a little off. Um, not off, but like maybe a quarter of the way in on that end. And halfway on this end, I have it propped on the counter because I'm still gonna need access to the floor and I wouldn't be able to have it braced up against this because it's um, the wheel well cover and it's a little soft. And then I have the one right in the corner and that one's really sturdy. The ground, the gr uh, subfloor here is really strong. Um, from what I can see the rot stops about here so I'll probably take it back maybe to here so I don't have to disengage that side but my next step is to disengage this side but first I need to relieve the tension on these guys so I think for the day I am just gonna finish tidying up here get out the little tidbits of linoleum here and there and then work on this again tomorrow but yeah I think she's braced pretty well I'm happy with that um, so da, 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 da.